Hey guys, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I always have a hard time saying that. I want to say it backwards and I don't understand why. But um, today I got a package. It is my ready to ship order from L3 Waxy Wonders and I wanted to go through it with you guys. I am a little confused by my emails. Uh, so I ordered two different ready to ship orders from L3 within a couple of days of each other. And I wasn't sure whether or not they were going to get combined shipping or not. Um, and then I ended up getting shipping information and tracking number for my second order first. And then I got shipping information tracking for my second order then I got an email that said that I was being refunded for shipping, like she had combined them, but both of the tracking numbers work. And one was telling me I would receive it, the first one was telling me I would receive it today, and the other one was telling me that I would receive it tomorrow, and it's still saying that it will be delivered tomorrow. So I don't know what has happened. I don't know if I'm gonna open this box and it is gonna have both orders in it. I don't know if there is still another package coming. So we are going to find out together. Let's just go ahead and break this box open and see what in the world <laughs> is going on. It's, this is a very large box though. I know I ordered a lot, but I mean, it kind of seems to me like maybe this will be both. It is not. Okay. So this is just the second order. This was from the big ready to ship restock. Uh, that went live last Friday. There's a lot of markings on this as well. Lots of highlighter and like, if you can see highlighter and like circles and different, different things going on. So I'm not really sure what that is all about, but we will see. Um, so I got my sticker. If you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. If that's not true, I don't know what is. That'll go on my notebook. I ordered this time the only bag size that she had. They were all out of stock except for six by nines. So I got 100 of them. my bag of samples. We are going to save these until the end today and just get right into the order. So the first thing that I ordered is the Fruit Loop Buttercream Lavender Cotton Candy in two pack bunts. Mmm. I'm not getting a lot of lavender. Uh, and the little bit that I am getting blends so well with Fruit Loop that it doesn't really, it doesn't really taste, it doesn't really taste like anything because I'm not eating it. It doesn't really um, smell like lavender um, per se. It just kind of adds a little extra something to that Fruit Loop note. This smells so good. Very subtle on the cotton candy, if it's there really at all to my nose. This is not a cotton candy scent. If cotton candy scares you away, if you don't like that in your wax, don't worry about it in this one. This is a predominantly Fruit Loop, little bit of buttercream or like a creamy milk type of note. I love this. I'm so happy that I got this. I actually ordered that one for my husband because he, 
he was like, we should get some cereal ones. We should get some cereal ones. And <laughs> he's drawn to the smell of cereal, I guess. So he's a big kid. Um, the next one that I picked up is White Elephant Exchange Lemon Curd. So I haven't had White Elephant Exchange in anything yet. And everybody raves about it. So I really wanted to pick some up. I felt like this was a safe bet for me because I already knew that I loved her lemon curd. So let's give it a sniff. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's very lemon curd and maybe a little, I definitely get that cake or like donut, not necessarily the powdered part right now. It's just like a, do, like a fried dough kind of note and maybe like that crunchy vanilla wafer cookie. This is beautiful. I love this. I am super happy that I added this to my collection. Um, I grabbed another of the Fruit Loop one just so that I had plenty because like I said, I had no cereal ones and I know he's gonna love it. So um, I grabbed another of the White Elephant Exchange Lemon Curd. Um, this one is going to my bestie friend. And this time I ordered some different stuff. I'm going to set this to the side. I'm not going to show you this, this yet. We're going to stick to one, one thing at a time here. All right, so all these pack and peanuts. Okay. So the next one that I picked up is this blueberry cobbler cotton candy frosting Danish butter cookies. I also haven't tried any vendor wax blueberry cobbler yet. So when I saw this, I knew that I wanted to grab it. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm super glad I got two of these, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I got two of those. And thank goodness because oh, that smells so good. Mostly blueberry cobbler. The cotton candy is just adding a little bit more sweetness. Um, I don't really smell like that butter cookie note that it's talking about. It mostly just smells like um like crumble like that cobbler crust kind of smell very very happy with that i picked up some caramel toffee buttered popcorn apple cinnamon i am trying to get at least one fall scent in every order so that i have some stuff that's already really very cured um, when fall rolls around, you, the older you get, the faster the months go, and fall will be here before we know it. So let me give this one. Mm, okay, this is mostly on cold right now. This is mostly giving me that apple. I wouldn't really say apple cinnamon. This is more of like a fresh, crisp apple. I'm not getting any caramel toffee yet, no buttered popcorn. I don't know if it's something that needs to come out on warm or if this just needs a little bit more time to set. I do find that with her wax, within two or three days after receiving it, it has just completely developed. And I know that these were, you know, just poured like a week ago. So this is gonna change a lot here in the next week. I'm just gonna let it sit and then whenever I end up pulling this for a what I plan to melt, uh, like melting basket type of video, I will tell you again what it's smelling like at that point. So next um, are gonna be my 
things that I ordered in a loaf on this particular order. So I got two loaves. I feel like Let's see, let me, I'm just looking at my sheet to make sure that it was only two on the order. I think so, because I wanna say that my, yes, okay, so we're only two loaves on this order. I think <clears throat> I had about four on my other order that should be coming tomorrow. So the first one is Blackberry Fluffy Towel Salty Sea Air. I picked this one up because Danny Lives Life C here on YouTube. Um, and Danny, her, she goes by Danny, Danny Loves Wax, I believe, on Instagram. Um, she suggested this one strongly when she did her videos last week on her stash, like on her collection, when she was on the L3 portion of that. She raved about this particular scent. So whenever I saw that it was gonna be offered in a loaf, I had to grab it. I have really high hopes for this, so I'm hoping that it's good. <laughs> I'm hoping it's as good as Danny says that it is. I absolutely love L3's Blackberry, so I, I think it will be good. Okay, let's see. Absolutely, Danny. She is right. When you're right, you're right. This is good. This is a beautiful laundry that is not overpowering. It's very clean without being obnoxious. Some laundry scents are just really in your face. This is just a nice, clean, uh, blends well with the salty sea air. I can definitely smell that note in here. And the blackberry, I don't even, it just makes it smell so like berry sweet. I love her blackberry. If you've smelled L3's blackberry in anything, you already know what I'm talking about. This is her this is her blackberry and it smells so, so good in this blend. I'm so thrilled that I have this in a loaf because I'm going to use a lot of this stuff. This is probably gonna be a regular purchase for me. The next loaf that I got, and by the way, these are her basic Betty loaves. Um, I didn't say that before, but the next one that I got is another one that I wanted to pick up for fall to let go ahead and sit so that I know that I have some really yummy fall stuff. Um, so I got in her mystery chunks, I got a couple of blends with pumpkin pecan waffles and I absolutely loved every single one of them. So when I saw that she was offering pumpkin pecan waffles, cake batter, sugar cookie dough in a loaf, I knew that it was gonna be awesome and that I needed to go ahead and snag it for fall. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I love her pumpkin pecan waffles and it definitely is the forefront of this one. But you also get a really heaping dose of that cake batter and I can smell sugar cookie dough. This is absolutely wonderful. I cannot wait till this is fully cured and fall rolls around. This just, this is fall in a loaf. It's so good. So, 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 so good. All right, next we're gonna tackle the scoops that I ordered. So the first one is sugar, spice, everything nice, cinnamon, sugar. I also got this one because I, I actually requested this one and I picked it up because I got this in a mystery chunk, this exact same thing. And I absolutely love that mystery chunk. 
This is another one that could really be put up for fall, but when I get kind of a craving for fall right now, this is a nice one. It kind of scratches that itch without being like overly displaced in the spring. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't scream fall, um, but it definitely satisfies that kind of fall cozy craving that I have sometimes. Oh, and it's so beautiful. So, so I got that one. Love it. I love her scoops. I just started digging into the first one that I had ordered um, at the beginning of my little vendor journey uh, a little over a month ago. I just started using it. And man, is this stuff strong. Her scoops are, they're real strong. And you don't have to use very much. Just one little like spatula scoop in your warmer, no matter like how big the little dish is, it doesn't matter. You just kind of coat the bottom of that thing and it will go all day with this stuff. So you definitely get, I feel like with the scoops you get almost the best bang for your buck. So the next scoop that I picked up is the Frosty Fizzy Bubbly Beach Glass Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I also got this one because of Miss Danny. Um, so she talked a lot about the Frosty Fizzy Bubbly being her favorite kind of bubbly scent. I think she said that this is L3's Ginger Ale. I love Ginger Ale. And I haven't tried any fizzy smelling waxes. So I figured since this one was the one that she spoke the most highly of, and I trust her opinion, um, I would try a blend with that specific fizz note in it. So I, I know that I love the beach glass. I know that I like the boardwalk mellow clouds. Um, so adding a little fizz to that just seemed like, you know, the most safe route to take. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is absolutely ginger ale. No doubt about it. Y'all, it smells like ginger ale at the beach. Oh, it has such a beautiful, like, coastal candle scent. But ginger ale. <sighs> I don't even know. How do you describe that? I don't even know. This is just so good. I am thrilled that I had this. I should have ordered two of those. What was I thinking? I just wasn't sure I was going to love the fizz. I, I don't, I didn't understand how you can possibly smell fizz, like how your nose can. Fizz is more of a feeling, I feel like, than a smell. If you know what I mean, it's kind of like that tickly tingly sensation when you smell something fizzy than it is like that it actually smells fizzy. So I wasn't sure how that was going to work in a wax, but y'all, it does. I don't get it. I still don't get it, but it it's there. It's a real thing. Um, I also want to show you. So she changed her scoops. They were, let me grab out my original one. So they were these plastic ones and they work fine. They work well. I, I loved it. It was no big deal, but she has changed to these metal ones. They're the same shape, but they're stainless and they're like different little oil slick type colors. But now you only get one per order. So if you get scoops, it doesn't matter how many scoops you get. If you get one or 10, you just get the one, but y'all, I just keep these. Let me grab it. Oh my goodness. I just keep these. They're just alcohol wipes. And I keep these in my little station in here. And I use it to like wipe off my spoon. I use it to um, clean off my wax cutting board and my cutting knife that I use 
um, after each use. So it's not, you know, messy everywhere. It's easy. I wipe it with the alcohol wipe. The alcohol makes all the like wax residue release right away. And then I just toss it in the trash and it's no big deal. So one scoop is fine. The next thing that I ordered, the last wax thing that I purchased, um, I'm so happy about. I did get two, but one is not for me unfortunately uh, I got one for my friend um but another mystery chunk that I absolutely fell in love with was Benny and June so Benny and June is a French baguette with honey butter and blackberry marmalade and it smells out of this world good uh it is the reason that I fell in love with bread since it is the way that I discovered that I love fresh baked bread in wax and something about blackberry marmalade wax, her blackberry marmalade wax and that honey buttery bread. No, I, it just, it works so good for my life. Um, but I requested it in scoops. She definitely came through and um, offered it in scoops. And I'm so happy I, I didn't end up snagging Hufflepuff on this order or um, Eight Crazy Nights. But I was just so happy that I got my Benny and June that it, I wasn't even disappointed about the other. This is truly got to be one of my top fives. And it is so freaking good. I don't even know. This is like, this is fresh off the press and it's already amazing. You, if you haven't, if you haven't yet, you, you have to, you really have to, um, thank me later and do it for yourself. Okay. So the next thing that I did is I went outside of my wax box this is starting to be a whole mess. I'm sorry about that. But I kind of stepped outside of my box here and decided, hey, I really want to try some of these companies' body products as well. I am really picky about, you know, the quality of the ingredients that I put on my skin and my hair. Um, I, I'm not really impressed these days with a lot of store-bought products. So I thought, you know, while I'm here, let me go ahead and um and try some of this other stuff and see if I like it better for me. So the first thing is the shampoo. I ordered the strawberry raspberry guava. I actually didn't order this. I don't think. Oh, I remember what happened. I remember what happened. Okay, so originally I had put strawberry pound cake in my cart, but it hopped out. So I ended up having to change it to strawberry raspberry guava, and I really wasn't upset about it because the conditioner that I got ended up getting, I felt like they would just pair well together. But let's give this a sniff. I've never tried anything from the Belux side of L3. Um, they do this so that it doesn't leak all over the place, which I really do appreciate because my heart would be sad if all of my wax and labels and everything was just covered in shampoo. That would be a, a not so happy day. Hold on. Okay, it's sealed. I tried to sniff it. I tried to like pop open the cap, but you guys, they seal them. Oh, wow. Okay. So I was a little bit worried that they wouldn't be very strongly fragranced, but that worry was for absolutely nothing because this smells so good. So good. Oh, that's going to smell so good on my hair. I'm excited about that. And then I got the conditioner. 
They didn't have, um, by the time I made it to the shampoo and conditioner section, they had already been hit pretty hard and didn't have a lot of matching combinations. So for conditioner, I thought the white elephant exchange would go perfectly with this. It's, you know, they just go together. I feel like. Let's see. Oh, absolutely. So strawberry, raspberry, guava, and cake, basically, <laughs> is what my hair should come out smelling like. And I'm not mad at it. The last thing that I ordered were dry oil sprays for myself and my husband. So again, oops, again, I've never tried any of these. Um, and I hadn't even tried, I hadn't even smelled the, the scent at all that I ordered my husband's um, dry oil in. But I've heard a lot of people rave about it. So I was like, you know, they got to be talking about it for a reason. I'm going to trust the crowd. And, um, and that smell is gray sweatpants matter. So that's what I picked up for him. And ooh, that is a very nice, mm, that is a very nice smell. And then for myself, I got something safe because I knew that I loved her strawberry pound cake. It's one of my favorites. So I got the dry oil for myself. Oh, and strawberry pound cake. And, um, I am so happy that I did. That smells so good. I like, I feel like all the bees are going to be attracted to me. I might not have planned that well. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so she did include my candy. And I mean, if you're going to give me airheads, give me watermelon because that's my favorite. So that worked out. And then let's go through these samples really quick for anyone who is still here watching. I really hope that all of you have had a great week and that everyone is excited that it's Friday. I know I am. I'm ready for the weekend. So I got samples in Winter Snooze, Pink Chiffon Boom Boom Vanilla Lace, and Peppermint Sugar Cookie Royale. So let's sniff these. Winter Snooze is extremely peppermint. Like, I don't, and there might be like a hint of lavender in there, but you're not sleeping. You're not sleeping with this much peppermint. This is after a winter snooze when you need to wake the heck back up is what that is. Um, pink chiffon, boom, boom, vanilla lace. I'm not a huge boom, boom fan, but I think the pink chiffon and vanilla lace saved the day on this. I can smell them all three, but the pink chiffon and the vanilla lace are doing something to the boom boom that, that actually makes me like it. Um, so I'm actually really excited for this one. This smells very pretty. And then peppermint sugar cookie Royale. Again, the peppermint is really strong but I can still smell the sugar cookie or cookie in general, cookie dough kind of note is what it actually smells like to me with the peppermint. Um, 
I'd be interested to see what this smells like warmed up, but I have a feeling that both of these are just going to like be those types that you can put in a bathroom warmer and then the whole entire house is just going to smell like a peppermint bomb. <laughs> so I will proceed with caution. Anyway, I think that is it for this haul. Uh, again, I hope everybody has the greatest weekend ever and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.